Hey guys, I wanted to touch base. I've been working on a new uh, thing for the Glowforge to automatically push the button. This is the old, if you look at my last video, this is the old one, the old system. As you can see, it's a lot larger. Uh, uses this servo here to turn much larger but I'm going with this one now I this will work so this is the brand that I'm using I went with this t this one the MG's because it's 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 metal it's got metal gears in it I prefer these these are great but they're 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 cheap I've been having a lot of trouble with these so I don't know what I'll use these for you can get these very cheap look on um Amazon or Alibaba or whatever you can get these you can probably get tons of these really really cheap I can't I find them pretty useless but these ones I like they're a little bit stronger um, definitely more durable this is the new design it will go like this so it will be mounted like this and then when it's activated it will just drop down push the button and then come back up and this is all can be controlled from your phone so smaller size I'm using a node uh, MCU with Wi-Fi and the blink app I will put it all together into a tutorial when I get a chance I'm tr I'm, I'll get it done this week but this is the new one right here Sorry, I'm working one hand, but see how much smaller it is. This new, new design, old design. There you go, that's it. Node MCU, but we'll go over that. Alright, that's it. Bye.